2009 15-inch MacBook Pro LCD screen assembly replacement. Please note it is suggested to disconnect the battery for this replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and go ahead and flip it over. We'll be removing 10 Phillips head screws. Remove the three long Phillips head screws first. Now starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook, remove the seven short Phillips head screws. Once all screws have been removed, go ahead and remove the rear panel. LCD screen assembly removal. Disconnect the LVDS cable by lifting up the lock lever and pulling the cable out. Be gentle, this connection is very fragile. We'll need to remove the LVDS cable bracket. It's attached with one Phillips head screw. Once unscrewed, you can move the bracket out of the way. Disconnect the Wi-Fi and iSight cable. It's a single cable. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are screw that are holding down the bracket. Remove the bracket. Flip over and hang the MacBook over the table ledge. We'll need to remove six T6 hinge screws. There are three on each side. Lift up the LCD assembly after the screws have been removed. It is now free. LCD screen assembly installation. Insert the assembly into the MacBook. We'll need to fasten one T6 screw on each hinge in the center. This will allow us to align the LCD assembly properly. Once the two alignment screws have been inserted, reinsert the other four T6 screws. Close the MacBook and put it back into position. Reinstall the Wi-Fi cable bracket. First sift the screw through the Wi-Fi cable. Then you can attach it to the bracket. Make sure that the Wi-Fi cable is going underneath the bracket as the bracket is there to protect it from moving around. Trace out the Wi-Fi cable, tucking it in, reconnect it to the logic board. Install the LVDS cable bracket with one Phelps head screw. Again, make sure the bracket is going over the LVDS cable. The bracket protects the LVDS cable from being disconnected from the logic board. This could cause screen flickering. Reconnect the LVDS cable to the logic board. Make sure to be very gentle as this socket is easily damageable. Install the rear panel. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Now the seven short Phillips head screws. 